All right, guys, check it out. This is the build that I've been using in PvP. This is my build video number two. Let's get right into it. So, there's a couple of things you're going to notice, right? Auto rifles are not necessarily uh, impactful in PvP. So, in this slot, I was trying this out. I found a different build for this. But you're going to have to use whatever you found to be most effective, right? So, hand cannon, crimson. Uh, I found really, you know, good success with pulse rifles. But it all depends on what you guys think is relevant to you. This build depends on two things. Tangle and dodge. But you're using them for the same exact thing. So let me show you what that looks like. Going into the thing over here, first thing we want for our abilities is to be able to use our dodge or our slam in this case as often as possible. So we're staying away from the gambler's dodge and we're using the marksman dodge. It's a shorter cooldown time. Strafe jump I find to be more effective. I'll leave this up to you guys. This allows me to have directional control on while I'm in the air. And I found the strafe jump is super effective at helping you escape. Something about it, that quick burst of energy to get out, is very effective for me. And then if you have to turn and defend yourself because of directional control, then you can do that. The melee is what it is. Uh, either start the engagement or end the engagement with the melee. There's some utility here, but it's not as effective as just using your gun. But we'll go into a video about this because I have some ideas. Here's what this whole build is built around. The shackle grenade and the dodge ability. You saw the six coyote already and you've already saw some gameplay footage. It is pretty cool when you get it to work, but it does take some practice and it's incredibly situational. But when it works, it can destroy two and three people at a time. So here are the fragments. You can't do anything with the aspects, but... Remember, this aspect right there gives you a second grenade charge. That's very effective with this one, because if you miss one, <laughs> you have another. Speaking of which, fragments. The threat of ascent, which gives you that 10 mobility, but it reloads your weapon. There were situations I was getting into that I'd have to tangle somebody up twice, and my fusion rifle was not reloaded. This does that reload for you while still tangling them up. Very effective as a backup option. Now... Threat of mind, any suspended targets that you defeat, and you're going to defeat a lot of them, it's going to give you ability energy. Thank you for that. We need it because everything is running pretty slow with uh, Strand right now. Defeating, I'm sorry, dealing damage generates grenade energy. So now we have class ability energy being generated. We have grenade energy being uh, generated as well. That's really good. And this one right there allows the effects to last a little bit longer. It's like a 1 second to a 1.5, but trust me, that adds up the more you use this and the zone control that you want, either escaping people or getting into engagements so they can't move from where they played themselves in a bad position. Super effective. So that's the gist of what you're looking at right here. Hopefully I explained that well enough. Again, the weaponry, use what you feel best. I am normally a kinetic aim or a primary aiming person, so Crimson was working pretty well for me, and I'm having a lot of fun with Autumn Wind right now. But the actual mods over here for the armor, let's go into our mod customization page so we can check everything out in full. If you guys are not aware of this, by the way, you can check out both your weapons and your mods. It's a pretty cool little screen they got going on over here. Anyway, um, everything maxed out 10 out of 10. Some of these are just filler. Um, I want more mobility to get my dodge back, and I'm going to need recovery. So I got that as high as I can with the armor that I currently have. Uh, kinetic targeting is a big one. That's for your helmet, okay? Kinetic weaponry is how you get your um, energy back from your grenade. You want to make sure you get into as many engagements as possible while still being able to survive. So if you tangle somebody up, the tangle lasts for longer. We saw the aspect that does that, uh, or the whatever it's called, fragment. And then you want to make sure that you have unflinching, or I'm sorry, better target acquisition, and that is what this does. Moving down here, the grenade kickstart is key for this. If you throw your grenade out, which you're going to do a lot of that, you're going to get the energy back. It's around 15 to 17% because I have two of them. The one copy of this, which is still really good, will give you 10% back. So if you wanted to change this up and add something else in here, you could do that. But this is what I found to be most effective for the build I'm trying to run. Now, I have some questions on this, but this was effective for me. Does strand reduced uh, from a, a strand weapon also in the kinetic slot? Does it double up? I'm not sure. But just to be safe, because it only cost me one, I put this in here. So check it out. Reduces flinch when you're firing your kinetic weapon. So if I switch over to a pulse rifle, which I ended up doing, or using uh, something that's not a strand weapon, this is here to help you with that. So you're getting shot and you have unflinching. You're able to shoot back with better targeting. And every time you do any amount of damage, you're getting grenade energy back because you're dealing damage. Super awesome. 
This is for sixes primarily. Not a big use for this in threes because there's not a lot of people that create orbs. Sometimes they do, but in sixes, this works out pretty well. Right here, kinetic weapon gets a small bonus damage. So this would be good for like iron banner. This would be good for sixes, which is where I primarily use this. So I kept this going. You could always switch these out if you wanted with something that maybe reloads your fusion rifle or your secondary if you chose to go that route. The last part of this build right here, utility kickstart. Class ability energy, when it's fully expended, you gain the additional ability back or you gain some energy back. Back. And again, it's between 15 to 17% because I have two of them there. And Bomber also feeds into this. When I use my class ability energy from dodging or slamming, I get grenade back. So I either always have my grenade or I always have my dodge. One way or the other, I can always tangle somebody up as you saw in the gameplay video. Pretty decent. Let's look at more gameplay clips so we can see how this looks in action. Keep it up. So the best way I found to use this is to trap people trying to escape or to use it for escaping yourself. There is a lot of gameplay clips that I found for using Strand that helped me survive situations that I probably wouldn't have survived with any other subclass and it also helped me finish up engagements where people were actively trying to get away or escape and use my choke points effectively as you're going to see in this like that one right there the super i mean that dude should have had me but i was able to stop him at the end of his super here i'm able to bait a doorway again a choke point so that grenade was pulling me forward i was able to dodge out of it and get homeboy number one and most of homeboy number two so using the grenade and so using your dodge is a little different the grenade allows you to stop people from escaping which you're going to see multiple clips of that and the dodge allows you to bait doorways effectively from above using your vertical space i hope this is something that you guys can implement into your game and i really hope you see and find some value with this no it's not 100 percent perfect but this is probably one of the more balanced subclasses i've actually seen bungie attempt to create you have a good kit, a good utility. The gameplay loop allows you to take advantage of very specific situations, whereas the light subclasses allow you to basically be good across the board with everything, but this balances a lot of that out depending on the person that you're playing. So it's worth your time to give it a shot. And I do believe that this is one of the best things they you know, things they created for Destiny. I've been having a lot of fun with it. It is incredibly different than what we're used to so it's been a little bit hard to you know to move forward and play against people that are using and rocking their normal subclasses but i have found ways to make this effective and watch this again a choke point predict the grenade throw and boom he's done i was able to do that a lot and even if i miss because of the loadout i'm running i have a second grenade charge speaking of running maps that are used in the competitive setting this one right here, a normal spot that people come around the corner. I just randomly threw it and he got tangled. It is worth your time to try this uh, Try this loadout, my dudes. Hopefully you find some, some use with it and you find some practicality with it. If not, let me know in the comment section down below if this is your thing or not. How are you guys enjoying Strand? I think it's fun. I'm having a blast with it, but this is the time of destiny that I actually enjoy when everybody is figuring out the new thing. It's usually at the start of the season and then somewhere near the end of the season. The middle of the season when the meta is established, eh, it's not as much fun because then it's just the same thing over and over again. It becomes a little redundant. But right now, this is really fun. I'm enjoying the heck out of this. PvP has been fun for me. All right, my dudes. Thank you so much for watching. I love all you guys. Remember to keep it zen out there. I will see you in the next one. I need a hunter like you with the red jack. One. Three minutes. I need a hunter like you with the red jacks.